Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Emily and Dallas. And as of today, we are 27 weeks and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 27 weeks and five days pregnant. Yeah, you could have just took two off of 28. Yeah. So Tom's got his sunglasses on because it is absolutely boiling outside. It's amazing. It's like being on holiday. <sighs> it is so, yeah, he's got sunburn. See, it's because of my trap. I mean, there's no light down here because obviously light can't get around the trap, but it's fine. Well, it's not been so nice to me. It is so, so hot out there and it is just making me, like literally just feel faint all the time. It is so, so hot. Um, but I've been trying to drink loads of water. Um, I've just, I've got my hair down at the moment. I've literally just washed it so it's wet, but in a moment it'll be going up because literally it's so thick it is acting like a scarf. That's all right. It's <laughs> keeping you warm, isn't it? <laughs> Too warm. But yeah, so the baby this week, I have a feeling that he's turned over. Yeah. Because he's been like uh, feet down um, for pretty much the entire pregnancy, hasn't he? Mm. And you know, I've said a few times that I've had really, really bad heartburn, and then over the last two, three days, it's just or stopped, isn't it? It's not completely stopped. But compared to the way he was. Yeah, it's gone, and I have felt such pressure, like low, low down. It's, it's actually really, really uncomfortable. I've just noticed like a real, real like slowdown in like Yeah, you literally. have slowed down loads. In the last week, you yeah. tried to be a hero and come out and do a bit of weeding with me last week. So I'm just getting the house ready. I've done the decking yeah. and uh, got on top of a few bits and pieces and Emily tried to help. And not only did she get in my way, which slowed me down, but she also ended up getting injured and uh, she now walks funny like John Wayne. <laughs> but I don't even know if he has turned. We've seen the midwife on Tuesday. Oh, yes. you, you think he has? Yeah, because I'm now getting kicked. So when I'm lying in bed now and Emily tries to cuddle me, rather than it being a case of just feeling like a brute brushing movement across, now I've got someone going <laughs> with their feet, just kicking me. Yeah, but this is, but the lower bit is what's up touching here. It's up here, yeah, it's up there. It's up here, the oh, kicks okay. coming from the middle of your tummy. Wow, so there we go. Yeah, it's upside down now. It'd be interesting to ask her because she can feel, can't mm. she? She knows. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it has been such pressure. And where like my legs connect to my pelvis, like in my groin area, yesterday morning, I could barely move, could I? Yeah, it was like, like, like you're in pain. Yeah, it was. It was really, really painful. I'm going to have to edit this anyway. You have to edit it. You've got pains again. Yeah. But you should put this in so they know. Mm -hmm. So they know that they have a kid when they're ready to make the sacrifice. So I've been also getting um, Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, if I get one when I'm laying down, I can literally feel the bottom part of my stomach just go all hard. And I've read that they're supposed to not be very painful. Like they're supposed to be just like a bit. No, it, it, it does say that they are quite painful. Does it? I thought yeah. it said they said a bit. They're... <coughs> Yeah, you can't be fooled into thinking that they're not as practiced contractions, isn't it? So the book says that it is, you know, although it's not like a full contraction, it is your body preparing and it is uncomfortable because you've not felt it before. Mm. Well, they're painful. They literally, they do take my breath away a little bit. Like How would you stop. raise it on a period scale? Like uh, my worst period cramp. Your worst period cramp. Yeah. Okay. That's a good, good yardstick. Yeah. But, um, so we're going to do our usual. We're going to consult our trusty app to tell us what's going on with the baby this week. Seems really negative so far, but I just feel so knackered over these last couple You're of days. Tired, aren't you? Yeah, you know, we're positive in some of them and then in some of them it's just not gonna be as good a week. I just feel really, really fed up this week and I just it's literally, heat, I just it? can't, yeah, I just can't believe I'm gonna have, I have to have, go through another like 12 weeks of this, but you know, next week might be a bit better, but it is especially hot it's this nice. weekend. It's about 30 now, isn't it? 30? Is it only 30? 
I don't know, it's about, I think it's mid Oh no, but it was like 33 degrees in Turkey, wasn't it? And I was yeah. not in Turkey. So, yeah, it's like being yeah. on holiday, it's lush, especially yeah. in Cornwall. Yeah. I was at the beach yesterday for four hours. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we're back. The phone has finally, finally turned on. So it's really, really confusing because some apps are telling me that I'm in my third trimester now. Mm. And then some apps are now telling me that I'm not in my third trimester, I'm still at the end of my second trimester. Mm. So it's really confusing. But um, this one says, so this week marks the end of the second trimester and babies born between 27 and 32 weeks have a good chance of survival, 80 to 95%. That's good. Yeah, it is good. Um, Da, 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 da. Your baby is beginning to enter a very active phase in his cramped quarters. The amniotic fluid has decreased, which means you'll feel every movement of your baby much more than before. <sighs> so out of breath. <sighs> <laughs> He'll be practicing his sucking reflex in order to prepare for breastfeeding. And his neurons and brain tissue are developing rapidly and the brain waves are working like newborn baby brain waves and even though your baby's skeleton is completely developed the joints are still not yet connected okay oh, didn't know that if you're carrying a boy which we are his testes will have finished their descent at this point into his scrotum yeah his immune system, liver and lungs are continuing to develop and preparing to function on their own. And his tiny eyelids have began to open. Mm -hmm. So his eyes are like, mm -hmm. That's shining the torch around. <laughs> well, today is also a really, really special day because it is also, what day is it today, Tom? It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. I'm not a father yet though, am I? Until he's born. Well, he could be born now. And he'd he be could be, yes, I could be a Father's Day candidate, but I'm not yet. So he's got until midnight. <laughs> but you know what they say, when a woman first gets pregnant, she's instantly a mother. And most of the time, a father doesn't see himself as a father until the baby's born. Still, that doesn't matter because Leo still bought you a Father's Day present. What, did he? Yes, he did. Really? Yeah. Mouse bar? No. Leo went to the shop and just bought you something really small. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. Cool, well done, mate. He got you a card. A card, lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> that's good. I can hardly read your writing. That's not my writing. It's Leo's writing. Oh, okay, that's why I can't read it then. You <laughs> <laughs> should have got some bits of newspaper cut out. Oh, what's this? Cake. Yeah. Oh, little jewels thing. Oh, what's in here? I love a pair of boxes. This is what I need. Are they in my size? Medium. Medium. Okay, cool. I'll have to go on a diet to fit in them. But... Really? That's lovely. <laughs> I feel a bit weird showing... Your new boxes? Yeah. They're brand new though. They've still got the tags on them. Oh, so okay, yeah, so... Thank you, Leo. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All subscribers and people can see my boxes, which is a bit weird. But thank you, yeah, it's lovely. That's <laughs> great. So we've got two two small little things that we got this week for Leo. Um, so I'm going to show you the first thing and then Tom's going to show you the second thing. Okay. Okay. I went to the White Company sale. I got really excited about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I love the White Company. I love the White Company. It's just a shop. And I got Leo this, which is... A sleeping bag. How lovely is that? It's lovely, yeah. It's a little summer one and in September it'll still be quite warm mm. so he can go in his little sleeping bag in his cot and it's got little like little sea creatures all over Very it. Nice. It's, I think it's lovely. Can you imagine him in there with his little legs kicking yeah. around inside? Yeah. Well, what's in here? Stuff in the I don't one. even know what's in here. It's a surprise for me as well because... Mm. Huh? in here. My little outfit. Oh. What can you drop? <gasps> Ten drops. Dropped a little glove or a sock. Is that a sock? <laughs> Is it a glove? Yeah, it's a glove. It's called a scratch mitten. It's to stop them when they're tiny. When they're their little nails scratching their... Can't, scratching how annoying if you had a... Imagine wearing a glove where you can't move your thumb as well. It'd make you so angry. Yeah, no wonder they cry. Are, his hands are so going to be so small. Yeah, a little beanie. A little beanie hat. Little hat. It's cool. Isn't that lovely? Little top. Very soft actually, it's quite a nice fabric. 
Shame it's got an elephant on it. Shame it's got an elephant on it. Isn't it? It's got a lovely little elephant yeah. on it. It's so cute. <laughs> He's going to be so small. That's so funny that that's a pair of trousers. <laughs> They're so small, aren't they? Yeah. And this is. That is a vest. A vest, is it? And this comes around the bottom of the nappy. Yeah. Okay. Keep it down. Yeah, it's a little vest. It's a whole, whole little outfit. It's so lovely. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so just a couple of tiny little bits that yeah. we got, and that was it really. I suppose I should do a tummy update, but you're, not, you're just going to have to not judge me because I'm in a dress. You're going to see my legs as well, and just like don't don't judge me, okay? Legs? What do you mean legs? Yeah. Okay, so here is my here is my tummy in my dress. It's blue because it's Father's Day. And it's all about the men, and then here is my tummy. Big, big fat tummy, and I don't know if it's changed shape due to the fact that I feel like he's moved, but I'm not sure. But yes, it's gotten bigger. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I felt like this one's been a little bit of a a bit of a downer week for me. Um, it'll be week 28 next week, so hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit more. Elevated. I just feel so tired and exhausted today. So thank you for sitting. Mm, does it? I've, I've can't really say much this week because I've been kind of just trying to help out, haven't I? Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's not really much I can do. I can't be much fun because I'm actually tired as well because I haven't really had a good night's sleep for the whole week. No. It's keep been waking me up. It's also been <coughs> it's been really hot, so I've been waking up like so much. Mm. I've been waking up with the heat, and also I've got to that stage now where I just can't get comfy. Yeah. I'm really uncomfortable when it's time to go to sleep. Just trying to move my stomach around and stuff, and mm. and heartburn and just everything. Yeah, it's not much fun anymore, is it? It's fun. Do you know what's really funny about all this? Is that before Emily got pregnant, she was the world's biggest expert on what should be done because she was a textbook pregnancy mum because she's wanted this for so long. And then, you know, there'd be people that she'd hear about that would be pregnant and she'd be like, oh, well, 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 well. And she'd, oh, well, no, I would do it differently and I would be different because, of, but now you're just going through it like everyone else. So it's quite good, I think, because it's kind of made you realise that there's a lot more to it. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Yeah, I completely agree. I just yeah. want a cider, like, so badly. Yeah, yeah. she's really teasing. <laughs> yeah, I feel teasy. And we've got to go and have lunch at like 2.15. And we're worried that the restaurant's going to be too hot because they've got a conservatory and they've sat us there before and we've overheated. I'm just in a, do you know, I'm in a really bad mood. I think I'm just going to leave it here. Probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> or do you want to just start the whole thing again? No. And just be upbeat and positive. No, I just can't. I can't. Want. I'm so tired. I can't. They I just can't want do positive. It. I can't do they? it again. Yeah, but it's just that life isn't always positive, is it? No, it isn't. But YouTube has to be positive. Oh, also. God, no. Not conforming to that stuff. Okay. No. So, thank you very, very much for tuning in to this week. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more of an exciting week next week with a bit more positivity and like, mm. But for the moment, it's it's bloody hot and I'm tired. <laughs> so we'll see you next week at week 28. Bye. Bye.